So welcome everyone for joining up for this first informal hangout. Share something positive. Today it's the 17th of January. I had a whole lot of transmissions last night, uh, starting from last evening. So powerful that I was guided to meditate throughout the night. Of course, I was lying down, but totally conscious and uh, building a powerful energy to the point where... Uh, you know, the bed sheets were extremely warm. I think you have experienced that as well. When you meditate very strongly, your body discharges extra energy into the bed, into the pillow, things like this. Anyways, so today somehow I was granted with grace the experience of not sleeping and feeling completely aligned, in fact, more aligned. And I think I'll continue like this for a while. It was only two or three days back that I shifted back to the pranic diet. I am eating as if if I choose or if I have to socialize, but I'm making sure that 80%, 80 to 90% of my diet is complete prana or a bit of fruits. This is just for my own vibration. I'm not saying that you have to do this as well. You know, it really requires a lot of, lot of, lot of discipline <laughs> on the part of the practitioner to be able to maintain the frequencies please do not attempt this i'm simply sharing this with you so that you understand um, that so many things are possible once we hook into energy i hope you're enjoying the love yoga sessions they are uploaded on youtube and these sessions these informal talks which i have named it as sharing something positive is that we gather together all of us <clears throat> and once in a while, I mean, I'll choose randomly any one of you and you share something positive that happened with you or that you're observing within the planet right now. It's a very informal talk uh, episode. Uh, all of them would be so. Uh, it would also help me to connect with you more often and also allow us to strengthen our community of light workers. A session with Narmada Aksha. Thank you so much for being there. Thank you so much for all the love. You know, there's just no words to describe as to how you express it and how it feeds my very soul. So this particular call is basically meant to just talk, basically. You know, there's no preparation, uh, nothing like that. So I was planning for this episode to be 20 minutes or something, not longer than half an hour. But let's see how it goes for the first one. Uh, but I'm planning for not more than 30 minutes. So randomly, I'm going to unmute you, ask you to unmute yourself and share something positive. So we begin with uh, Vaishali. Please unmute yourself. Please share something with us, anything positive that you think is going on or that you're experiencing in your life or maybe a shift in perception, anything, just anything. It seems uh, she's having some microphone issue. Uh, let's see. With um, I'm not able to see Mita's mic as well. Okay. Let's go with uh, Ruchi. Nirmaljit. Okay. Yes. I I see that you have unmuted yourself. Thank you. Please share with us. Good afternoon. Uh, yeah. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How are you, sir? I'm all good. How are you, ma'am? I'm very fine, sir. I'm very fine, very confident. Yay. After um, so many sessions, sir, I realized that I'm feeling very positive, very changed person as myself. And uh, now I can manage my relations more nicely and more healthy. And uh, the best part is, is that I am more uh, positive in negative situations. Wow. Uh, that's how I feel, felt, oh, wow. and I more believe in, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and uh, more of it. I'm now I more believe in charities, and uh, feeling like a um, free bird. You know, more <laughs> zada positive oh, things. <laughs> wow, fabulous! Yeah, that's it, sir. <laughs> thank you so much for sharing. That's me. a promise, right? <laughs> thank you, thank you. 
everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much for transmitting that. Yes. That's yeah. Cool. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. And uh, talking about um, here with the classes, we will be uh, having the classes again very soon. Uh, in fact, from today, uh, December's class, second part, would be organized today. Uh, it took some time for my system to attune, you know, because uh, first of all, I'm accustomed to live in bungalows, but here at Bhopal, where I'm living, it's a multiplex, you know, six floor apartment. And um, here there is a whole lot of quote unquote biological family, if you would say. And we really have to go out and socialize, unlike Raipur, where you don't have to socialize much. Although there is a family as well, but you don't have have to, I mean, eat because someone has made something. So it took me a, a while to, you know, focalize and laserize. And it was only during the meditation time, during the early morning, 3.40 p.m. something, that I was guided with this. So again, my conscious mind is going, I don't know how people are going to experience it. And you're going to put it on a recording. But I definitely have a knowingness that... It is going to be a very important part in our work. All right, so Mita, please unmute yourself. Yes, we can see your camera. <laughs> Hi, but we cannot hear the mic. You, you got to unmute the mic as well. You simply have to click on that mic button and you can unmute. Oh, I think she is trying to log in again. All right, let's see with Amba. Anba, please unmute yourself and uh, share with us anything positive that you're experiencing. And you know, everyone, during this talk that we're going to gather together here, it's not important that you have to share something positive. If you're feeling really bad about something, feel free to share. And, uh, and perhaps, um, you know, answer on your own and perhaps I will also help you. I will try to help you to understand the light behind the darkness. As Nirmal Jeet shared that even in negative situation, she's feeling so positive. It's not actually the positive, it's more of the soul light. You know, the soul light is usually said as positive, but as you go deeper, you realize it is nothing but pure ananda, it's pure bliss. You know, it's not positive, it's not negative. Positive and negative is inside it, it's like a polarity uh, that our consciousness holds on. So many times when we you know, meditate and do a lot of energy work. People, uh, you know, share that they're feeling more depressed. They're having more mood swings. What is going on? Uh, am I doing it wrong? Am I not supposed to do so much of sadhana? No, no, no. It's not like that. You're, these things were already there in your consciousness, your subconscious. Now, as your consciousness is expanding, you're becoming more aware that numbing down, that you are just one bundle of flesh and blood, that numbing down is gradually moving out. It's gradually being erased with the consciousness, with the awareness that I am that I am, Tatwa Masi, you automatically realize, oh, I am a free bird. You know. All right, so I think Mita is back. Mita, please try to unmute yourself. You can find the mic button. Yes. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Huh. Hello. Yes. Please share with us what yeah. is what is yes, we can clearly hear you. Please share with us what is positive around you? What positivity you see around? <laughs> Everything. Uh-huh. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. Okay. After meeting you, everything is positive around me. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's all about you. You working with yourself. Actually, the perception has changed. Mm -hmm. Even if something negative turns, the so-called negative turns up, you have a knowingness that this is something to teach you or something, mm -hmm. a lesson or something. So mm -hmm. that adds on to the positivity. Wow. Mm -hmm. Anything recent that you would like to share? Maybe something? Maybe in the, yeah. in, in the country, in, um, maybe in your colony where you live, maybe in the country, anything? In my work. Work, please. My uh -huh. clinic. Okay. Yeah, I can <clears throat> feel that the struggle to work with the patient has reduced. Everything is on the plateau. Wow. <laughs> Very deep inside. 
everything is on the platter. I don't have to work. It's just there. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. That's how the divine mother energy works with you. And everything is provided on the platter as we allow ourselves yeah. to open up more and more and we feel more comfortable to receive, which is a divine feminine archetype. Once you work with that, then it is just like this. Wow, fabulous. Yes, and as we continue to integrate more, as we, you know, evolve more, raise our vibrations more, there is just so much, you know. It has been almost past two or three days uh, that prana diet is back. And as you keep saying, I'm addicted to it. Yes, I'm just feeling, wow, in my consciousness, in my whole body. <laughs> so, yes, as we evolve more and more, everything is provided, not only in terms of money, in terms of business, but also in terms of food, in terms of water, in terms of healing, in terms of medicine. It is literally uh, materialized out of the thin air, so to speak. You know, And when that happens, we realize we are living in a quantum soup of energy. You know, The material, uh, the gems and gold and money that we are believed that we must work for it and you know, maybe even have war for it, we realize hey, that doesn't make much sense. The only costly thing that comes up is love. And other things are just tools. Fabulous. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Yes, Amba, please unmute yourself. You'll find the mic button. You simply have to click on it. Share something positive. You know, because we are so much bombarded with... Um, advertised uh, and uh, paid media all the media is wonderful but paid media that you know there's so much of fear and hopelessness lingering around i think when we are going to discuss like this people are going to notice and experience that hey people like you and me we are having a transformation mm. right it seems like amba cannot unmute uh, issue please unmute yourself Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. How are you? Hello, ma'am. I'm all good. Uh, it's only two days back that I came back. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling so, so, so happy to listen you. Feeling uh, front. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, all of you again. Yeah. I'm so excited to share my one experience. Mm -hmm. That's a Mute, unmuted it also. <laughs> yes, yes. Go ahead. No, no, yes, I, we have got that stage. What I am, I am. I have accepted what I am. That is a, that confidence. Wow. I don't want to be kicked by anyone or not accepted by <laughs> doesn't matter. What I am, I am. That wow. is a, what is it? Is it positive or negative? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anytime. Wow. wow. <laughs> Anybody is wanting that. It is a very, uh, having a, from back 10 days, I'm having a very great experience. Somebody is pushing me back. Mm -hmm. You should think you was like that, you was like that. Mm -hmm. You have changed a lot, but I don't want to get, go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> what I am, where I am, I'm right at rightness with right peoples and with all the right things. Absolutely. It reminds me of the really? Facebook image. So, so, so thankful. So thank thankful. You. So thank thankful. you no for words. accepting yourself. <laughs> thank you for It reminds me of the Facebook, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, that uh, image where uh, there's a caterpillar and there's a butterfly. And the caterpillar saying to the butterfly, oh, we have changed. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. True, uh, true, very true. Great. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Vita, also. <laughs> she awakened me to today's class. Uh, yeah, thank you, Vita. Oh, wow. It's great that this timing worked for most of you. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. You know, everyone, acceptance. Acceptance is the key to change. You know, wherever you are, you, you wish to transform your business, you wish to transform your weight. You wish to look brighter and younger, you know, brighter and younger in the sense of not being attached to the body, but in terms of the body being a more fine-tuned instrument. You wish to have a more sharp mind. Wherever you are, wherever you are, start with accepting. You know, start with accepting. The ego might come up and say, oh, now you're getting arrogant. No, nothing like this. You know, we spend so much of our time criticizing ourselves, including myself. But once we start to praise and put appreciation and so much more, there is transformation. There is powerful, powerful change. There's alchemy 
you know so wherever you are you know wherever you are you don't like your way okay then start accepting that way start accepting the body body i love you and notice how your body would respond your body would automatically begin its healing system you know your body has trillions of cells and it can literally manufacture anything that your body needs including medicines and once you feed your body with love a lot of time people talk about finding love outside you know a lot of you have seen my post there in a relationship with the grace with the field and it really triggered something very very powerful within me you know it reminded me of various um, nuns you know in the Jain culture in the Christian culture where they literally married to God you know to have the desires fulfilled so to speak so something really powerful occurred last night I have no clue what was it but something was definitely powerful. So that was my positive. Most of you are aware that my voice was not so okay. Uh, I was struggling with the cold here. The cold has gone quite a lot. And um, things are making sense. Things are flowing. And I'm able to study here um, and, um, and, and be filled with a whole lot of creativity. Great. Let's go with one more person. Um, okay. Uh, Ruchi, can you please unmute yourself? Hello. Hi, I am in Bhopal and you are in Indore. <laughs> yes. I, I do have plans to come to Bhopal for a day, maybe uh, in, the, in this week or in the next week. Oh, wow. do update me, do update me. Great. Yeah. Sure. So, uh, the positive thing which I have recently gone through is uh, that yesterday's newspaper, the local Hindi newspaper, they have come up with a uh, uh, with the tradition that every Monday they publish the uh, positive news only on the uh -huh. front page uh -huh. and yesterday they completed two years so the we can say almost 80% uh, of the paper was filled with the positive news only uh -huh. and it was really amazing you know after a long time to read such a positive newspaper which was mentioning about the research going on the highest uh, you know um, the research center located at the highest peak it's in India Mm -hmm. where they grow a uh, lot of healthy vegetables for the soldiers. Wow. Then the news was there about the hockey uh, female uh, players. There is a village in Jharkhand which is known as the hockey village. Oh. And there, you know, the uh, girls, they play hockey with the b bamboo. Uh -huh. And the ball is, you know, the dry custard apple, which is not uh, uh, blossomed properly. Uh -huh. Okay. So it's very hard. So they play with that and they get selected into the national team. My God. Even the female hockey uh, team captains are there from that village. Uh -huh. And uh, then there was a news about the Tata Memorial uh, Cancer Institute in Mumbai, mm -hmm. where people say that people here come here at the last stage of cancer. Mm -hmm. And general perception for any hospital is that people want to get out of the hospital as soon as possible. Yeah. But here, people don't want to go. They get treated and then they uh, choose to stay back and do the volunteering work for the new patients. Mm -hmm. They have like you know more than uh, 20 NGOs which are helping them out and even the common uh, man who has got cured, they, they uh, do a lot of volunteering work there mm -hmm. and it's like they don't give the positive uh, you know false hopes to patients but they infuse the positivity in the patients. So whatever life they have, they live it positively. Wow, fabulous. So after long you know, the mass media, you know, print media, which is like, you know, everyone gets the newspaper, mm. but after, uh, but not everyone meditates, mm -hmm. right? So after a long time, it's like you read the newspaper and you, you know, you feel good. You don't feel the drain out. Wow. That was the main. Wow. Fabulous. Fabulous. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And yes, everyone, what we can also do for our next meet, whenever we're going to meet next, uh, where uh, you know you can just you know um, carve out some positive news if you need to from the internet at national which is influencing the national international level you can do that and if you don't feel like doing that then don't do that you know there is so much of positivity already around us and um, it's just it just takes awareness to notice the light you know and I can sense a lot of expansion of the heart chakra a lot of happiness in my Cells, and I'm very much sure you're experiencing that as well, you know. So we are, we have really created a powerful portal, a powerful uh, vortex, you can say. And every time someone else would be hearing that, they would go, "Oh wow, 
these are regular people they are working with energy they they have you know their own shadows to work on etc etc now before we sign off uh, talking about cancer cancer the root of cancer usually comes from resentment resentment you can say it's uh, undissolved anger eaten up anger you know children when they experience anger they shout they you know they have their legs stomping on the floor and that's it but we as elders as adults as quote unquote mature people we we eat the anger and then we smile <laughs> that really creates a confusion in the emotional body so you can say resentment is eaten up anger another definition of resentment could be um where you just feel so bad about yourself about a particular situation or a particular relationship uh, that it's a kind of mix of guilt but more on the part of the other person most of the people that we have and other holistic healers have worked on cancer they usually have issues connected with the mother archetype you know the mother so if you are into healing most of you into healing all of you into meditation and so much more it is very very important that the client the patient uh, goes through a lot of forgiveness work and forgiveness work especially towards the mother and you as a therapist you have to work on it it doesn't mean what they did to you was okay it simply means you are no longer willing to hold you know as Aphrodite says be willing to love yourself so much that you are not going to you know keep beating yourself up with particular memories or emotions again and again and again so again uh, if you're planning to shift your diet in any way or you know include exercises of some sort be willing to love yourself more I hope you will um, enjoy the love yoga sessions more and we will be having more other sessions there and this particular call would be uploaded on our YouTube channel Thank you so much for joining in, everyone, for the fabulous community. I think the call went for like maybe 20 minutes or something, but it was all fabulous. Let's not make it a, a formal class. Let's not make it a, a heavy talk, you know. So thank you so much, everyone. You can unmute yourself and just we can we all can say bye bye to everyone who has joined here. You can just unmute yourself. And we will say a collective bye bye to everyone who is attending offline online. Thank you, everyone, for joining in. I love you all. Love yourself as you are. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 See you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>